Hi everyone. Happy summer solstice. Happy Litha. Today is the summer solstice, June 21st. As you can see, you're looking at what appears to be a pot of dirt. It's actually, um, I just planted some of these sunflowers. This is a fun in the sun hybrid mix. So as you can see, they're all going to look different. Long blooming blend. Um, that's what it says about them. It's a little late to technically be planting them. You're supposed to plant them from March to May in my area, but whatever. I've already got some that I have planted. I planted this one, that one, and this little bit smaller one that keeps falling over. So I got a little stake in there for it um, earlier, like a couple months, like a month or two ago. I don't remember exactly, but um, anyway, I planted them all at the same time, but as you can see, they've got different growing rates, but anyway. So I decided to plant some more today, and I just planted them and watered them, and they're doing good. And um, I planted, let's see, I think six? I planted five around the outside, and then, no, seven, because I planted two in the middle. Um, so I used all the seeds. I don't have any left in here because of that, because of planting the other ones. And I've got another sunflower right there in that little pink cup. That's small, and I've got two out in my garden one is right there and one is right there anyway sorry I don't mean to swing all around so fast um I tried I thought I was videoing me actually planting these but apparently I thought I turned the camera on and it didn't turn on so now I've got to show you is the pot of dirt but anyway that's the first thing I've done this morning um I was gonna bake some muffins but apparently I got confused I guess and didn't get the stuff in time um, I guess I got confused about when I thought I thought it was later than it was or earlier than it was whatever I thought the summer solstice wasn't coming till next week or something and I thought I had more time to get the stuff but I didn't and whatever it's fine I, I don't mind I'll get it this weekend and then make it you know next week or whatever but I'm gonna make some lemon poppy seed muffins. So I've got a cool recipe for that. So I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna show you guys my altar. Sorry about the cars and birds and whatnot. Um, and I will show you guys that and splice it in here. So I thought while I was outside, I'd come out here and show you guys my sunflowers. As you can see, they don't have flowers on them yet, but this one's doing real good. I, tran I transplanted this one out here first. And as you can see, some of the bottom leaves are not doing real good. Um, when I first brought it out here, it was smaller than this, but um, a little bit, not by a ton. But um, it, it was fine in the pot, and I brought it out here. I let it sit in the pot out here for a couple days so it could get used to the fuller sun. And that's called hardening it off because it was under the patio, sort of under the trees. And it got sun over there, but it wasn't super bright sun all the time where it, like it is out here. And... Um, like it's 9.45 in the morning and there's already some sun out here. And so um, I brought it out here, hardened it off, and then I planted it. And even though I hardened it off, it like immediately wilted within five minutes of planting it. It was just like dying. So it ended up coming back. But what I did was I, now I've got that stone next to it, which I think this is a sunstone. I'm not 100% sure. But originally what I did was like this one which I recently planted and it's just now started to stand back up it was real wilty and you can see it's still kind of crooked and the leaves aren't doing too well but the top leaves are starting to get back better and it was real wilty like that too where it was just almost completely fallen over and um, you can see I put these down here that's a, a clear quartz which is actually really white and then that one in the back is a rose quartz which is faded pretty much in the Sun and that one there is a rhodonite so I put those there for love and help it grow and all that kind of stuff. And I enchanted them, of course, you know, and kind of did a little bit of a spell. And I, I don't know that I'd call it like a full on spell, but I sort of like, I wouldn't call it praying exactly either, but you know, like did some little like energy work on the, with the flowers and to help them kind of grow and not die. And they're, they're here with my dahlias. This was supposed to be a whole row of dahlias. That sunflower wasn't supposed to be there. That was supposed to be a dahlia, but it never came up. 
And so I dug that spot back up and the bulb was just sitting there, you know, it didn't germinate so, or whatever. So, cause they were bulbs, not seeds, like the sunflowers and whatever. So I put a sunflower there instead. And then you can see that sunflower and that dahlia. And those are some cardinal climbers over there that'll have, that'll end up climbing up the fence. And um, they did the same thing. I hardened them off and then I transplanted them and they just immediately wilted. And I put like, I dug a hole and the, clay, the soil there is real clay, but I like put good soil in the hole, a real big hole around where I planted them and I watered them good and everything. But you can even see like on this one, see that leaf there at the bottom that's real wilty still? And like there's two here. You can see that second one next to the stake is still kind of doing not real great. But they are climbing on the fence just a little bit. So anyway, I thought I'd show you guys that and how I have the stone. Sorry, that was my headphones. And how I have the stones next to the flowers to kind of help them out. I thought that was a cool idea. Those are some I bought when I was in green. When I did that haul, when I went to green, those were in, um, those little ones there were in that bag. And then I don't remember where I got that one. It wasn't in green, but I've had that upstairs in my room for a while. And so I thought it's a sunflower, sunstone. They go together, I guess. Anyway, um, now I'm going to take you upstairs and show you my altar. Hi guys. Okay. So this is my altar. Um, I'm kind of holding the camera today. I don't have my tripod. So, um, this here is my litha candle. I've burnt it once because I've used it in the past, but, um, I reuse them because they're so big. Um, it's actually just a general Sabbath candle from 13 moons. It's not specifically for litha. Um, they have one specifically for Litha, but, um, I didn't buy that one because they were out at the time and I didn't want to make a separate order for it and whatever. So I just bought a generalized Sabbath one. That's my working candle on top of my pentacle. This is that, a new little tree, gemstone tree I got when I was in, um, green. That's my goddess and god candle in these little star dishes, which I think are cool because I like to put stones or herbs or stuff around them, but I haven't this time. Um, this is my new abalone shell with a stand. I got that at the farmer's market. It's a really nice looking one. It's kind of dim in here. I mean, I've got my lights on, but they're not real bright because I don't, bright lights hurt my eyes. So I have like the lowest wattage bulb you can possibly find. And then this is like a really, really tiny piece of Palo Santo. It's like a sliver really. You can see I've burnt the end, but I put that in there. I haven't like burnt it and then put it in there yet. Um, I, I've burnt it before, but I used a different shell before. This is an offering bowl, my candle snuffer, um, my lighter, that's what it's called. This is my bell, and that is my, um, it's like a beauty self-love candle. That's kind of up there charging. It's not really part of the litha altar. It's just kind of up there charging. And this is the back side of my flower cloth that I had on there before. It's just green. I wish I had like a yellow one, but I really don't. This is like the best one I had for this. So that's really all I have on there right now. I would have loved to, I have this little, um, uh, this thing, this little vase. I've got these dried flowers in it still because I don't really know where to put them. Um, I want to, they're very fragile. They fall off. Like you shake this vase and it like 50 of them will fall off. You can see some of them have fallen off um, if you look close. But um, I have that little vase, and I wanted to get some sunflowers to put in there. But when I went to the farmer's market, the place, there's, sorry, I was shaking, I was not shaking, itching my arm, and it shook the camera. Um, there's this place that sells a bunch of vegetables and stuff that they grow, and then sunflowers every single time I'm there. But this time, for whatever reason, they had all the vegetables and no sunflowers on last Sunday. You know, just a few days ago. And I was like, are you serious? The one time I want to buy the sunflowers, they don't have them. So, I don't have those on my altar. So, I don't feel like it looks super litha-ish. Especially because the candle's purple. And I would have liked to have made my own. But, again, I don't feel great. And um, I haven't felt great the last few days. And so, I just haven't planned that out. And made it and everything so I just haven't done that and um, anyway here it is I will um, show you 
Oh yeah, I already showed you my sunflowers. And so I can't show you me baking the um, muffins today because I didn't, I'm not doing that today. So um, I hope everyone has a good Litha and blessed be. Thank you for watching.